Sinji was also able to follow simple instructions most of the times. When asked to point certain objects, such as a banana, jacket, basket of oranges, wallet, bottles from the picture, she was able to do it with little prompting and assistance. In speaking, Sinji was able to tell about familiar events or information using English phrases. She was also able to form English phrases using a VO structure and produce sentences such as like math, born in Korea, pay fruit. With all that being said, in order to move to a step 3, Sinji needs to demonstrate that she is able to follow multi-step instructions and use more high-frequency words, form complete sentences, and use compound sentences in English. It is important for us as teachers to implement strategies that work to aid ELL students in learning their second language. Current research shows that the strength of a student's L1 plays an important role role in the development of their L2. In Sunji's case, we would suggest introducing a personalized dictionary that includes words she does not know. It will be broken down into three components, words in English, Korean, and visual representations of those words. Graphic organizers, as well as assistive technology, can help strengthen the connections between her dictionary and curriculum subjects. Another strategy we would implement are identity texts. Identity texts are student-created texts combined with digital photos or illustrations that can be transformed into dual language books. Students can create various types of texts such as stories, poems, journals, or even an autobiography and translate those texts into their mother tongue. When describing her personal story, Sunji seemed to be more engaged in both speaking and writing. Through identity text, she can take ownership of her work, shape her identity, and feel empowered to create. Identity text can also build on her social skills by giving her a platform to share her cultural background and experience with her peers. Implementing activities based on her interests is another way to maximize her learning. Combining Tanagrams, Rubik's Cubes, Lego, and other puzzles into the classroom activities can be an engaging way for her to practice her L2. While Sunji likes to invite her peers to do these activities with her, Many seem to be uninterested because they do not know the rules of the game. One way we can support Sunji is to guide her in writing game instructions for her classroom peers. By encouraging Sunji to share these written rules orally in front of a small group of peers or class, Sunji will be able to manipulate literacy concepts such as spelling, word spacing, punctuation, syntax, and subject verb agreement. Most importantly, as educators, it is important to create a stress-free environment where students feel safe to make mistakes and use those as the foundation for their successes. 